Hello, Omar. Hello, Omar, Dr. Omar. Are you there? So students are requested to turn your videos on so that our guest from Palace TV can see you all. Omar, glad to see you. Welcome to the Zoom class. I'm really so pleased that I'm here with you. Indeed, yeah. this is a fantastic meeting. And I appreciate uh, being with you, dear Mr. Harry. I like this very much. I think it's a great honor for my students because uh, we missed uh, the two opportunities uh, last time uh, due to some technical issues uh, from your side and my side and maybe some uh, miscalculations uh, regarding the timing. So finally, you made it your way to our class, uh, thankfully, and we are so blessed today to have you as our guest. And um, in fact, we are excited uh, to witness your uh, uh, class on active and passive voice. Um, so before I let you teach the topic uh, active and passive voice, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, shall shall I share my my uh, my screen, please? Give me the permission yes, to I share my screen. Yeah. You can do it now. Is it is it appear? Is it okay here? Yes, yes, it is appearing now. Okay. Uh, at first, thank you very much for inviting me for this session. Is it recorded? Is it recorded? Yeah, you can record it. It's being recorded. Yeah. Okay. She will shall just record it. Uh, I need a permission for recording. You can take some for some screenshot and send to me during the okay. Yes. Uh, shall I start by uh, listening to your students to tell me their names if it's okay? Yeah, tell okay. me their names one by one. Definitely, Omar. And before I let my students ask me some questions, would you like to introduce yourself first? And Turn your video on so that we can see you and my students. They can see you all. So, Sai to Sai, uh, try to introduce yourself. Sai, turn your video on one by one and try to introduce yourself. Sai, I start with you. Sai, you are there. Next, Kusum Kumari, try to introduce yourself. Say your name and your grade. Similarly, where is Hi, sir. <coughs> Hi, sir. My name is Kusum. I am studying ninth grade. My hobbies are reading books, playing games, watching movies, spending time with my family and friends. My future ha ambition is agriculture scientist. Okay. So nice. Thank you yeah, very much. Sure. Thank you, sir. Sir. Hi, sir. My name is Nagalakshmi. My name is Nagalakshmi. I am studying 7th grade. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. My future ambition is teacher. Okay. So welcome. So welcome. Varshita. Okay, who's next? Varshita, are you there? So, it's welcome. Nice. Who's next? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. My name is Navya. I'm studying 10th grade. My future ambition is to become fashion designer. So nice. That's so nice. Thank you. Yes, sir. What? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. My name is Vashita. I'm studying next grade. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. Can I ask a question, sir? 
ஹாரி <laughs> <laughs> a uh, krishna for his uh, a great efforts and his hard working uh, for you in his, in in uh, order to find a great a chance in teach in using english language so thank you very much for all of you for inviting me here today our topic is about a active and passive and this is one of the most important topics in english that's because we here define and differentiate between the subject and the object and how do we use it indeed to focus on the subject or the object i mean that when we discuss a sentence and the subject is important we call it active sentence active sentence but when we focus on the object it co- it's it's called passive sentences so i will move directly to to you exactly to find about active and passive so we have here active and passive so in active and passive we have a three kinds of sentences we have a statement sentences we have a questions and we have comment okay comment so we have here in arabic the language in arabic but please focus on english okay uh so we will start finding uh the first one like when i say ahmad broke the window yesterday ahmad here is the doer he is the subject and the broke is the verb the window is the object So we have the three parts of any sentence, the three parts. We have the subject here, verb and the object. And we call it a statement sentences because there is no question mark. Okay? So there is no question mark, we call it a statement. Now, I call the sentence active. Why? Because I have an object it is called is Ahmad, maybe we can say a niraja we can say varishta or something we can say omar we can say ahmad so the this is the subject of the sentence and because it is found here uh, yeah, i put it here ahmad so the sentence is active the sentence is active my voice is clear mr harry my voice is clear absolutely thank you thank thank you very much but look at the the second sentence look at the second sentence under the line this is the line under the line we mention here the window was broken yesterday so the window was broken by ahmad yesterday so i started the sentence with the object i started the sentence with the object so when you change from being subject to object you have to change the tense we have here broke it became broken was broken yesterday so the window was broken yesterday here i started the sentence with the object but here who can tell me i started with what yes you can raise your hand and tell me i started the first sentence with what with a subject or object yeah any anybody can uh, hmm? answer uh, nadia you can just uh, who can answer this question 
Yeah, you, you can you can raise. I started with the subject. Well done, bravo. So I started here with the subject, but the second sentence. Who can tell me I started with what? It started with object. We started with object. Excellent. Well done. Well done. So here, this is the first thing that I want to say to you in this talk. The second one, I will start sharing about another point related to questions. Related to questions. Look at these examples. Look at these examples. Ali writes letters. Ali is the subject. Writes is the verb. Letters is the object. Now, this is active sentence. I need to move it to be passive sentence. So what, what exactly happened? I moved letters to be the starter of the sentence. Letters are written. I changed to use verb to be, then the verb tree of the verb writes. So it become written. And if you need to mention the subject, put it in two brackets like this. First, by Ali in two brackets. So the question here again, when I start it changing from active to passive, I start here with the subject, but here it started with the object. And here it is the verb without verb to be, but I did here with a verb to be. Number two, Huda wrote the lesson. So what I did exactly, I need to listen to Kozoma. Kuzoma. Are you with me, Kozoma? Kozma, yes. Respond, respond to the question. Who that wrote the lesson? When I when uh, I change it to passive, I started with. Yeah. Kuzma, can you respond? Any any other any other you can uh, help her. Kushmita. Kushmita respond. Who's ready? Yes. Kushmita. Again, Nadia. It is started with object. Yes, with the listen. Bravo. Bravo. Excellent. Well done. Well done. So I started with the lesson was written by Huda. And it's and etc. We did a lot of sentences in the same item. This is the ver the subject. Saleh will buy a car. A car will be bought. A car will be bought. Another one. Another example. Also, Khalid is helping Ahmad. Khalid is the doer. He is the subject, and Ahmad is the object so i change ahmad is being helped and don't forget to use the verb in past participle as we called it verb three verb category three is it clear mr harry is it okay it's okay just go ahead yeah let's move So we have another thing that we have to care it in passive and active. When I say to, for example, to any one of you, do the work. So this is an order, order or command that you have to do. And this is came from your teacher to the student. When I say do the work. So when I need to be more simple, when I mention to change it from active to passive, I will say, let the work be done. Let the work be done. So what I did exactly, I put the, 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 ver, the word let, then the object which is here, the work, 
I put here the work, then be, then the verb tree of the same verb which do. For example, number two, open the door, open the door. What can you say, about, can you understand from the sentence open the door? In your language, can you help me in your language? What can you see? Open the door. Any one of my students? Tasima, you can uh, observe the, the sentence there. So open the door. Tasima, just try to identify the... Open the door. What? Yeah. In fact, this particular topic is uh, completely not familiar with some of the students. I have not yet introduced this topic, but only a few students uh, have, have uh, learned this topic in the class. Okay, I can, I can, I can move to symbol one if you like. Symbol equals. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, I can just move directly to another yeah. one. I start here. Okay. Is it presented here, Mr. Harry? Can you see the, the, the slide? Pronouns? Yeah, I can, I can see. Pro Good. Dear students, please look here very carefully. When you express yourself or express others, you have to use something called pronouns. A pronoun replaces a noun. Like when I say Ali, or I can say Harry, or I can say Omar, I can change using the same name to some, we call it a pronouns. A nouns like names, but pronouns something instead of the noun. For example, look at this, the first category, subject pronouns, which is like I, when you talk about yourself, you, when you talk about uh, another one, okay, to just to share to, to him or to her, he, she, this is for, 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 for boys, he, she, for girls, she, for girls, it, we use it for, like when I say, for the dog or for the cat or something like this. And we, this is something when we talk about together. So together. And also we have you and we have they. This is, we call it subject a pronoun. I mean, this is the pronoun instead of the subject. At the starter of the sentence. When I ask you, what is your name? What's your name? You can say, I, I am Omar. Or I can say, I am Buram, for example. Or I am Harry. Okay? So you have to say about yourself, I. When you want to say to another one, about his name, you are, for example, Nuri, Nurija, I guess, Nurija, for example, you are, when I just point to someone, okay? Uh, when someone is not here with us, not here with us, and he is a boy, we can say he, he is, okay? It should be boy, he is Ali, he is Ali, okay? And also for a girl, we can say she is. She is, for example, for a girl, we can say she, okay? And if you have a cat or a dog, you can say it's my cat, it's my cat, okay? Or it's my dog, it's my dog. When we discuss for a group of people, a group of a students, we can say we. We are students in a class. We are students in a class and also we have you 
when I share for plural and they when I share for so a lot of people outside. Okay, so these are instead of nouns at the beginning of the sentence. I will open the discussion now, Mr. Harry, for your students if they want to ask me any question uh, or questions related to the topics or for opening questions. Uh, Nadia, Nadia, it's your turn. Uh, you start with uh, your question. So, uh, regarding the question, uh, maybe not with the actual Uh, I didn't hear you. Yes, any any question related to um for grammar or structure or something like this, I would be happy to answer it. No problem. So uh, um, before I, um, I think uh, some students are uh, uh, just hesitating at the moment to ask you some questions. So meanwhile, before I, um, before they open their mouth, I would like to ask you a few questions, Omar. Um, Omar, actually, when it comes to the wise topic, Voice topics um, to teach voice topics uh, most effectively. Most of the students uh, they feel uh, bit, uh, difficult for understanding the voice topic as well as the speech topic. So, what should we start? Uh, what uh, um, element should we start uh, teaching the students before introducing the topic uh, voice? Should we start the inductive and deductive method? There are there are different methods are there introducing the voice topic. So why should we start uh, teaching the? Yeah, I, I I got uh, I I got your question exactly. So if they just started learning English from the beginning, they have to to save a lot of of words, a lot of a lot of vocabulary. So saving words, like when I discuss about starting from their home, what beside themselves to know about the bed, the kitchen, the room, uh, okay, the sitting room and etc. Then the school they are in. So to know a lot of words in the school and also outside in the, the market, in the street. So saving a lot of words, a lot of vocabulary, this is the first step indeed to start dealing with other things, okay? Then they have to work hard how to help each other in, uh, in contacting together and practicing these words. So practicing English means that you will be perfect in English. Without practicing English, you will find that you are doing something um, uh, haphazardly or doing something uh, useless. There is nothing you can get from. So you have to try to let your student interact together for the words that they saved. You are with yeah. me, Mr. Harry? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Yeah. Good. Yeah, no, so no, I, this is yeah, please, please saving a lot of saving a lot of words. Yeah, saving a lot of words. Then number two, they have to be careful in building sentences, building sentences. So for example, I, I today I told you that they have to work as a subject, verb, object, subject, the doer, and the verb and the object. Then try to use these sentences day and night. Where I don't know about your language, but indeed you, you have to, to, to put a sentence in, in your language and to let them change it to English. So translating the language of, from your language to be in English, this is the second step that they will work hard. And my pleasure also to contact with you time by time, day by day, 
finding any questions they need. You have a lovely students, very nice students. Uh, they wanted to be here that they are in, uh, uh, coming to this session. That means that they are very excellent and they wanted to listen to uh, a speaker on English to get something good. Thank you very much. Any question? Yeah, I I Don't don't use your mic your your headphones. You start to use it directly without headphones. It will be better. Yes, sir. Any, any doubts regarding the grammar, uh, whatever doubt you have, or uh, language acquisition, or maybe anything regarding the English language, you can ask because Omar uh, um, is a very experienced and a very talented English teacher in uh, Middle East. Um, so he has. Uh, he has been uh, instrumental uh, in uh, organizing many conferences and many uh, programs. So the students are so lucky enough to have him as, as their uh, English teacher. Um, so we are lucky enough today to have him. Yeah, that you go ahead and ask the question if you have any regarding English language or maybe grammar or anything else. Okay. Yeah. First, first. Uh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting. Yerga. Yerga is still How there. can I improve my spoken skills? Yes, sir. Good. Uh, good question. Good question. As I told you that when you, you can improve your English by listening, listening, more listening. You have to put in your headphones and to open to videos, to songs and etc. And as, as much you listen, as much you speak. When you listen a lot, you will speak a lot. So this is the first step that you have to care. Listen more and more English and listen to native speakers. And in this session, it's very nice session. And this is a great effort from Mr. Harry to let you uh, I listen to people speaks English, people speak English indeed, and this is a good way to improve your speaking. Yeah. Next, Thank you, sir. Thank Nabisai, you. I think you have just started your uh, issues here. Okay. Yes, go ahead. She has, uh, they, there, there is there is a problem of the uh, maybe of the headphones, so no problem. I need to listen to Pram or a Lohida or I don't uh, just pronounce the words. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, you can you can share anything you you want. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, welcome. My name is Vashita, sir. Can I ask a question, sir? Okay, welcome. How can we improve our uh, spoken skills? Yes, the same question that I mentioned, and also good question, good question. Hey, I told you that by more listening, listen, 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 then listen. This is, this is one of the most important things. Put in your headphones and listen English. If you listen English more, you will speak more, okay? and save a lot of words in English. Listen, you have to get you a book of words and to save every every time new words in English, okay? By listening more, more words in English, you will find yourself become perfect English directly, time by time, you have to practice it. Okay, sir, thank you, sir. 
you are welcome thank you rohita rohita girija hi sir you are welcome hi sir my name is rohita girija i am studying studying sound class sound class can i ask one question sir yes you are welcome how to improve grammar programmer a oh, you mean that to be perfect in a grammar that's the question mr harry i guess yeah uh, okay yeah uh so this is a very nice uh, question but indeed uh, i told you that grammar a uh, is uh, like rules you have to save rules and it is easy and simple one it is not uh, something difficult but you have to write down every uh, every structure or every rule and to revise it time by time yeah when you get a a rule from mr harry for example related to how to use singular and plural then you revise it at home and to practice it directly time by time you will find yourself that you got the rule and you didn't need to uh, just save in mind no it didn't need to save you need to practice the rule like this practicing the rule okay sir thank you very much thank you jagadish got the tell me hi sir hi how are you i'm fine sir my name is gatija this my hobby sir reading books playing games and watching tv <laughs> What is your favorite wow. book, sir? Oh, that's so nice. So you you love reading? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So for myself, that I like uh, to read uh, books related to education and culture. So I have to read more about the uh, for the historical books and to read about. a uh, famous people um previously like a uh, gandhi and like Ma mahatmi all of these characters that i like to read more about them and i like to read about education also thank yes. you sir thank you very much kumar yes sir hi sir my name is kusma can i ask one question Yes, you are welcome. Go ahead. What are the best courses in your country? Sorry. What are, again? What are the best courses in your country? They 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 speak they speak uh, Arabic. They speak Arabic language. Courses. You know about Arabic language? Kusma Kumar, Kusma Kumar, you have to specify your question. I think I too, uh, I think don't catch your question. Maybe I think so. So we like to ask clearly. What are the best courses in your country? So uh, her question is actually, what are the good uh, quality education institutions in your country? So are there any reputed education institutions in your country? That's what our question. I think I probably. What are the best courses in your country? Uh, no, I, I, no, I, courses. You mean courses? Yeah. So yeah, Umar Rising, yes. I got it. Our question is actually: Are there any uh, professional, good professional courses in your country uh, that uh, foreigners can uh, visit your country and uh, complete their uh, diplomas or something like that in your country? Are there any? the yeah. uh, reputed okay as you know maybe they didn't know a lot about palestine a uh, palestine a uh, if you know about egypt we are beside egypt if you ever listen to or hear about egypt and jordan uh, we are in the in between jordan and egypt and it is uh, one of the countries that uh, we have a coast on the mediterranean sea if you uh you know about mediterranean sea and we have very important uh, uh cities like jerusalem if you if you know about jerusalem and also i have we have a, a very important for for muslims around the world 
we have something called Al-Aqsa Al Mosque. And this is a worldwide mosque around the world. This is in, in my country. And we have also the Dead Sea. We have the Dead Sea, something called the Dead Sea. You have to search and to know about the Dead Sea. Uh, this is uh, in, uh, in, in Palestine. Uh, so I invite all of you to search about Palestine and to know more about it and to give me a report about Palestine. And I will reward you with a certificate if you give me a very nice uh, report about Palestine. I will reward the best topic, the best report uh, who just delivered to me about Palestine, about the two cities in Palestine. Yeah, sure. I think we will. Uh, I will ask definitely, and I will conduct a, a, a answer ready competition on Palestine, so they yeah, can write. Yeah, this is about this is opportunity to them, Mr. Harry, and this is for them. It's as a homework. They have to write a report about Palestine in, uh, in just about um, ten lines, not just not not more and less, and they can uh, post some photos or the map itself for Palestine, and I will reward them a very nice certificate. This is from me. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's really a great opportunity for, for all my students. Taslima, it's your turn next. Thank you. Aslima. Yes. Hi, sir. My Hi, name is Taslima. I am studying seventh class. My hobbies are reading books and playing games. Can I ask mm -hmm. you a question, sir? Yes, you are welcome. What is your favorite subject, sir? My favorite subject? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, so I can say that maybe it's English because I'm a teacher of English. Um, uh, and I am a presenter of uh, a broadcasting or a radio program in English. So it's English. And you, what about you? My favorite, my favorite subject is English, sir. Whoa, wow, that's so nice. I like this very much. Good luck, Thank how you, are you? Thank you so much, please, your turn. Other, Thank you. Other questions, Mr. Harry? Yes, yes, there are, there are. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hi, welcome, welcome, dear. My name is Nagala. Me, my question is: Suggest some ways to improve my pronunciation skills. Wow, that's so nice! So nice question. So you wanna have to improve your pronunciation or your accent? We have different ideas: your accent or your pronunciation. By your pronunciation, you have if you have a mobile, you have to upload um. A, a dictionary on your mobile phone and it's called for example the global dictionary and you have to listen to the, to the exact pronunciation from native speakers so this is for the pronunciation but to improve your accent watch a lot of films maybe for american films or british films by listening to these films or movies you will find your accent changed and try to you practice fast reading, fast reading, to read fast, okay? Like when I say, my name is, uh, my name is uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. So when you read fast, in fast way, your accent will be very nice. And I will give you an example. I will write in a chat for you uh, a sentence, and I need all of you to practice it, to change oh their, to, to make the accent. Omar, sorry to interrupt you. Omar, sorry to interrupt you. Actually, in this Zoom slot, we have one minute time is left. I request you to re-log yeah. one more time so that some questions, still some students uh, will ask you some questions. And another 15 minutes time how to spend with my students. So in this Zoom session, we are going to end any time right now. We are going to lose the connection with you. So you, have, you are requested to join again one more time. Uh, in order to answer to some of the questions posed uh, by my students. Would you like to join? Okay, well, no problem if they want uh, to be, but uh, another time you mean, or at, the, at this time? Uh, yes, right now, right now, I think. Because uh, okay, time, yes, I, 